we're back here again. Hey, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. You are here with me, or Birdman. We are playing Dwarf Fortress, and we're back in the Goose Fort. Um, I am recording this kind of at the last minute to hopefully get uploaded in time, because I'm a professional, and I stay ahead of my upload schedule. Some time has passed here in Goose Paddled. Um, as you can see, we've added roads in and out of town. We have an ice tower filled with statues. Um, let's see. I've added these defensive protrusions along the bottom, sort of my uh, my version of a star fort. And I even remembered to cap them and put doors on them. Like, they're secure. Enemies won't just come walking into the fort, I hope. Uh, let's see. The goose level is now fully gem windowed. Oh, I guess we could put in some over here, couldn't we? That's not a bad idea. Something like this, maybe? Let's do that. There we go, that'll look nice. Uh, we have a crafting level here, gradually being filled out. Stone, wood, other stuff, metalworking. Not sure what this is going to be yet. We have a militia. I drafted 10 peasants into the portentous tools. Uh, currently, they have iron and shell gear. We are working on some steel for them. Because finally, after digging down many, many levels, we found flux. Let me go back up to it. There we go. We found flux. We've also found a ton of different gems. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and do this. There is no need to preserve the earth because all of our building is going to be above ground. There we go. <sighs> okay. Oh, also, we're up to 141 geese, as it stands, in case you were wondering. Oh, good, the ice finally melted. The river did fill back up, and the rain is even gradually filling up these pools that we've emptied. But it looks like every winter we will be able to harvest more ice blocks for whatever ridiculousness results from that. I need to do an egg check real quick. Everything seems to be fine. That is awful to look at. I'm not sorry. I'm just gonna go down here. Hmm? Ah, yes. This needs to be floor so that we can build windows on it. Of course. Just doing kind of a random mix of gems here. There we go. Uh, something like this. Something like, I don't know, something like that maybe. Okay. The dwarves seem happy enough. We're up to 39 dwarves. So we have four times as many geese as dwarves. put a lot of goose statues around. Remember everyone, this central chamber here with all the goslings in it is actually our temple. There we go. That'll look nice. I hope these are secure enough that the enemies won't just smash through them. Oh yeah, and we did put in beehives. We had beekeepers, we had bees. So we have 20 beehives now. <laughs> oh, there they go. Off to build the windows. Gotta make the level look nice for geese. They could build these a little faster though. I'd be fine with that. Okay. Good, we're making pig iron. Do we have enough to start making steel? We do. Okay, great. So we'll set these up to also make steel. We're getting on this early. 
so we don't have to worry about it later. Hmm. What else should we do in this central area? Let's make some seating for the dwarves, maybe. We'll make these out of... Let's see, we got a lot of shale still, so we'll go with shale. There we go. We should probably upgrade these nest boxes as well. Um, let me just remind myself how many we have here. Okay, we have 44, I guess. Let's make those out of granite. Okay. I think we got plenty of crafts here for the time being. And I think we've got plenty of gems, so we can probably use the remainder to uh, encrust some goods here. I do have them set to auto-cut gems, so that I don't have to micromanage that. I just, you know, forgot that was a thing I could do for my last several forts. We did completely deforest the map, but it is regrowing with a vengeance, as you can see here. This is a very healthy region. This is a really excellent embark for this uh, joke fort here. Oh, we got our first artifact. Let's have a look at that, shall we? Trap Plan, The Death of Squirting, a shale figurine, a shale figurine of giraffe man. Very cool. Uh, it is made in shale. It is encircled with bands of round shale, cabochons, and menaces with spikes of shale, microcline, and dog bone. Um, I think this is very cool. I think giraffe men are awesome, and we have put that on display right here inside the main hall where the wagon still stands. My plan is to leave the wagon standing. And then at some point we might turn this central area into a um, tavern. Now somebody did float the excellent idea, all of our geese are growing up, of um, making the geese war trainable, which is a fantastic idea. Unfortunately, since I have already generated the world, it is too late, as far as I understand it, to make the geese war trainable. However, we will keep it in mind for a future project, and I think that we will do a world where all the animals are trainable for hunting and war, and we will simply see what chaos that wreaks. All the eggs have been unfertilized recently, and I'm a little concerned that we might have hit the limit on the number of geese we can have on the map, so we'll need to trade for geese. Fortunately, we did request those from the caravan. They're still growing up. All the goslings are growing up. <laughs> we just need to make sure to keep an eye on these so that the dwarves don't harvest perfectly healthy fertilized goose eggs. Also, our ten peasants are being trained as swords dwarves. We will probably want some marks dwarves to make use of these defensive projections. Oh, I didn't put any fortifications on the ice tower. That's fine. We do have fortifications up here, so we can shoot at approaching enemies from two angles. We've actually been doing pretty good business with the elves. As you can see, we have plenty of food and drink, and a lot of that is down to high production of goose eggs. All the nest boxes. Is anybody fertile? Doing a quick fertility check. Not creepy at all. Everybody just go along with it, please. Most of the nest boxes currently claimed for laying eggs that are only good for food. And I guess for making the geese feel like they're they're being successful geese. 
The feelings of the geese are important. We need to go all the way back down here. How are we doing? Okay, the perimeter is not quite dug out yet, so we will... Oh, it's, it's, it's a fair bit off. Okay. We'll leave them alone. Okay, then. Okay, so a few months have passed. The traders are here. We have completed all of our trades. Let me show you what we got here, gang. Um, <clears throat> we traded away a bunch of... We can zoom back in. We traded away a bunch of crafts and some prepared food because we're not exactly short on food. And in exchange, we got... Let's see here. Where is it? What? What? Excuse me? Okay, well, we traded for a bunch of gems, which apparently... Oh, there we go. Cut gems. We traded for many, many cut gems. They brought us so, so many gems. I forgot we asked for those last time. Also, um, I bought us seven more geese. So we have those now. Um, we're going to put some of them in here. <laughs> goose. And we're going to put some of them in here. There we go. Which brings us up to 148 geese for those of you playing along at home. Got to adjust my count here so that I don't forget and have to count again. Uh, we also traded for a whole bunch of cloth and things because I want to... Um, well, one, finish outfitting our militia, but also we're just going to go ahead and make some... Was tunic not a thing we could make? All right, wh whatever. We'll make some cloth shirts and some cloth trousers. We'll make some silk uh, robes. Yeah, that works. Um, and why not some coats? Oop, there we go. We should make some leather shoes. Why not? Okay. Enjoy that, dwarves. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, yeah. We have another uh, 48 bedrooms here. With, um, you know, with dining space because we are up to 47 dwarves now, which just about hypothetically, you know, fills our lower bedrooms here, even though some of the dwarves are sharing a room. But the rooms obviously do not get better as we go up. That's not what we're doing here. Crafting level is looking wonderful. Oh yeah, we got another artifact. Um, I am having our militia captain wear this. This is a an artifact helmet that one of our dwarves made. Uh, if I can go to the correct screen here. This is Muddle Spoiled the Hammer of Theaters, a lead helm for 32,880 dwarf bucks. Uh, it is encrusted with rose-cut alexandrites and decorated with pigtail. It menaces with spikes of guinea fowl leather. And on the item is an image of the mechanical blame, the emerald cage in lead. For those of you who don't remember, or simply did not see that series, I believe the mechanical blame, the emerald cage, was the artifact cage from Slaughter Chop. We used that to hold something. I don't remember what. Now, is anybody... Fertile. That's a weird question to have to ask even once. Oh, also, you can't see it because it's the same color, but we've upgraded from wooden to granite nest boxes. Now, none of these are fertile. I am sticking with my theory that we've hit some kind of limit on the number of geese that we can breed. So we're going to have to import a lot of geese. Um, however, on that note, there are wild geese coincidentally, kind of all over the place here. If I had a more reliable way to get them into cage traps, we'd be doing that. But uh, we're actually not going to be using cage traps on this map that is a part of the challenge I forgot to mention. Because frankly, cage traps just make it too easy. Oh, we're going to harvest so much ice. Oh, look at that. That's frozen already. Huh. Okay. Okay. These never unfroze. 
It's very interesting. Rain's doing a great job of refilling our puddles. Oh yeah, we're out of brewables again? <clears throat> Man, can't get my throat clear. Coffee, please. I seriously just let the game sit and run for like an hour until the traders showed up because there was basically no chance that dwarfs were going to starve to death and the geese are doing great. The geese are doing fantastic. No problems with the geese. Up here at some point, in fact, we'll start building that now. Um, we're going to be putting in noble quarters and the nobles are going to be blessed by having geese pastured in their bedrooms and offices and dining rooms is how that's going to go down. I consider that a blessing, personally. Okay, we'll let the dwarves get started on that. Oh, we got some wanderers! That's fine. The geese may go where the geese will. What are they doing with them cages? Why are they putting cages over here? In our refuse stockpile? Do cages count as refuse? That's interesting. Okay, well, anyway. It's fine. Yeah, things are getting done. This is a really... What are, you, wait, what, are, what are you doing? You're constructing... Oh, you're going to get logs. Okay, the logs are all the way over here. This is a really verdant and um, resilient area. I, uh, I had the dwarves harvest every single tree and plant that was on the map while I had the, uh, the camera turned off, as it were. And it has already grown back. To remind everyone, the nearest settlements are over here. We have a uh, goblin forest retreat. There's a Dark Goblin Pits, and have these been conquered? The Cobalt Forest Retreat. The Cobalts took out some elves? Okay, a lot of abandoned forest retreats. Oh, there's some elves. More goblins. They're all the way over here, but... The Dark Dwarven Fortress of Hell Slips. My goodness. But they will eventually uh, come after us, I suspect. Here's us, the Parched Wheels. Oops, what did I do? Geese is screaming, that's us. The righteous wind. Can I see who we are, with whom we are at war? Trade agreement, nope, okay, that's fine. Anyway, the goblins don't like us, they'll eventually turn up here. Especially if we keep exporting huge quantities of trade goods and uh, prepared food. Speaking of which, we should make some more rock crafts, um, like a hundred units. And we'll make those out of microcline because it's hideous and needs to go away. Yes, I realize the ice is the same color. That's not the point. Why would you even bring that up? We have way more gems than we need now. So uh, we will be putting those on the trade goods. Because I'm not, I'm not tearing apart these gem windows to put prettier gems in them. I'm just not. <laughs> and we're just about finished building up here. Come on. Thank you. Up here. Who's got this? Come on. Bring the logs. Bring the logs. What are you carrying? What are you carrying? Dunno, doesn't matter. <laughs> By the way, this looks more organized than it is. These spill out into the common area. Is that snow? Why is there... Because there's no floor there to stop it from coming in. Well, we'll fix that pretty soon. We can actually begin laying walls here. Gink go nope not mm. upstairs make a poor wall. 
There we go. Yeah, sure, peach wood, why not? This fort has been more successful than it has any right to be. Which I, I kind of feel like that's just generally true of all the forts I've done for the channel. You know, Saber Shoved being an obvious exception because that went sideways real quick. Okay then. Well, most of the goslings have grown up now. <sighs> they grow up so fast. Actually, we should do another fertility check here because it's been a while. I'm going to stop doing these, I think. I don't think we can breed any additional geese at this uh, volume. We're still at 148. Some time has passed, obviously, a few months, and uh, we are, well, just a couple of months, I guess. This level's all done. And we've started putting in the noble level. We put in a bunch of gem windows here. These are just little balcony areas for them to look out. We are currently making some doors, but I realized that they only need exterior doors because the problem is, you see, if we are going to turn each of these into a goose pasture, uh, the doors will stop us from designating the entire room so the nobles just don't get any interior doors. And that's how that's going to go down. Uh, we're just making doors and beds right now because I'll want to tailor each room to the noble occupying it. This here, I think, can be maybe a grand hall, right? What do we think about that? Oh, we should put some statues in here. I forgot to put in statues. These are all the same statue of, of you know, the screaming goose that is our symbol. I don't care if it makes it awkward to use the stairs. This is what we're doing. In fact, make more of them. Let's make them out of granite. Why not? And there we go. The crazed seal. The goose is striking a menacing pose. The goose is screaming. The image is the symbol of the goose of screaming. The goose of screaming. That was hard to say. It's snowing again. Considering how far north we are, we have awfully temperate seasons. Ooh, ooh, the river's frozen again. Go, 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 go. Let's see. Uh, here, this spot right here will work. And we're just gonna designate all of this. Still don't really know what we're doing with all this ice not the point we're gonna have it is what we're gonna do it's also real good practice for the uh miners it's a renewable resource that isn't really worth anything <laughs> but they do get mining experience for digging out the ice and if my hands want to just do what i want them to do this would be a lot easier I'm going to make you watch me do this. I like to think of forts like this as kind of a proof of concept, right? That um, whatever stupid random idea you have for your fort, it is possible to build a totally viable fortress around that theme. Here, the entire point is that I want as many geese as possible. That's not... Um, it's not much of a theme, but it sure is working. <laughs> also, fish. We didn't seem to do any fishing during the last wet season. I don't know if it's because we channeled out the entire river and so nothing had a chance to spawn. But uh, next season, we won't dig out the river. 
because we're out of shells and we didn't get any more mussels or pond turtles. Wait, did I just... No, we're good. I don't want to widen the river. Although, frankly, why not, right? Why not just make the river big, huh? Because it'll annihilate the frame rate is the actual reason. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this, folks, but the fluid physics are kind of taxing on your processing power. I'm just talking to fill space because this takes a long time to do. This is going to be a lot of fun for me to review during the editing process. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, and we can't dig that. Okay! To work, dwarves! Oh, somebody's going to do it. We're actually using wheelbarrows this time. Can you believe it? Are you legendary? Well, you will be pretty soon. <laughs> yep, there you go. Get down there. Move fast. If it unthaws while you're down there, you'll drown. If it unthaws? Yep, you heard me. That's what we're going with. There you go. Work together. And actually, you know, maybe dig out some ice boulders. Don't just, like, melt the ice. The ice will melt on its own. You don't have to do that. Yeah, see, you're not... You're not digging up ice boulders. You're just digging out the ice. Jackass dwarves aren't doing what I want. Fine. We have war dogs now. I want to check something. Okay, good. We do finally have some worn clothing. I know that that's kind of a weird thing to say, oh good, our clothing's wearing out, but last time the traders came we had no worn clothing to trade, which meant that they were probably still wearing ragged clothes. Oh yeah, we still have a microcline door that I need to get rid of. Nope, not there. Oh, I undercounted how many doors we need. Forgot to double it. There we go. <laughs> we have a lot more varieties of gem here than we do down on the goose level. But you know what? This is fine. And th th let's be honest. The geese can't really appreciate a nice gem window. That that is for our benefit, for the dwarves' benefit. You're not you're not getting any boulders, guys. This, this is garbage, you're just wasting ice. But okay. That's fine, I guess. We don't... We don't have to, uh... We don't have to build any more levels on the ice tower. It's gonna be our prison. Um, in fact, 4, 8, 12, 16... There we go. Uh, what do we have? We have steel. You know what? Um, <laughs> what else do we have? We got a ton of iron. Rather than using the steel we've already made, let's make. Oops. There we go. Let's make 20 iron chains. Okay, and this is going to be a little tedious. I want to make sure that everybody has a food and a drink available while they are in prison. Okay, and... Sure, whatever. If we have mead, I guess they can drink some mead. Why not? I'm not a monster. Here, building an ice prison outside the dwarves' home. Uh, 
during goose season around here, we have a um, a permanent population of Canada geese around here. Um, also migratory geese, but we have a year-round residential population of Canada geese. And during uh, goose season, when they're migrating, we can get... I mean, I had 500 geese in my yard, like conservatively estimated 500 geese in my yard just a few weeks ago. A mix of uh, Canada geese and cackling geese. Which, you're going to learn about geese today, folks. Hey, Ice Boulder. Cackling geese look a lot like Canada geese, and they tend to hang out together. Uh, the main way you can tell is that they have a different call. It doesn't sound like honking, it sounds like cackling. And they're also about half the size. So there you go, you learned something today. You're welcome. You're welcome. We are getting some more ice boulders, finally. Not sure why that took so long. Unless the ice can be, like, different grades of frozen? Is that like a hidden mechanic here? Interesting. This game is so complex it wouldn't even surprise me. Alright, let's whoop, let's not go all the way up. There we go. Okay, where's the ice? Ice! Great, okay. A snowstorm has come! Fantastic! So you can see that not all the windows are blinking. Initially, I was going to leave them uncovered and have them be like open balconies, except uh, when they get snowed on, you can see there's a dusting of snow there, they stop twinkling. Which kind of defeats the purpose of the, uh, the gym window there. Okay, apparently we have beds. Now, the beds, I think, should go back here. I like to do double beds in the noble rooms. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just a preference I have. There you go. Get them shale doors in place there. Nice, nice. Let's see. At some point here, we should find ten more peasants and or beekeepers and or cheesemakers to draft into a second squad. I think we'll do that now. Great squad. Um, we need to create a uniform, actually. And for these guys, we're going to start with... Yeah, Shelmet. <laughs> we're gonna add a uniform. Actually, we're just gonna modify. Eh, eh. We'll just put him in the archer uniform. It doesn't really matter for now. Ah, I don't feel like dealing with this right now. Okay, we're getting this, um, I don't know, what would you call this? Grand hall type area filled out. We got some tables and chairs coming in, some bookshelves. We are beginning to fill out the noble bedrooms. Uh, we have elected a mayor, as you might have expected, so we're working on getting all that taken care of. Oh, you know what the mayor will need? We need some nest boxes. Uh, we'll just do eight of those. Oops, and let's actually... Those will be made out of... Let's go with... Do we like granite? What do we like? What do we like for this? Slate? Slate's not bad. It's kind of hoping we'd have some rutile left, but we don't have enough for what I need. So let's go with... Marble. Why not? Marble nest boxes. Yeah, that'll be nice. We're going to put a uh, breeding pair of geese in every room, even though they're not, probably, not going to be breeding. 
yeah, you can see I started out making some furniture and then changed my mind about what I wanted to do. I, I did, ultimately. The crafts are distinguishing. We do have a bow dwarf squad now. Who, um, actually... TQ. Who also should be training. Uh, we want to copy this order and paste it all the way down here. There we go. Now they can train during their downtime. Uh, not on crossbows, of course, but that's not the point. We won't... I don't know, man. We're recruiting a crossbow squad so that we can make use of these fortifications that I built, but I'm not planning to rely upon them. There we go. Get everything built out. Put down some nice uh, shale floors here in the noble rooms. That was actually a giant pain. I should have... You know, figured out I was going to do that from the beginning and made my life easier. But it's fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. How are you? Okay, let's put down some of these. Oh, we don't have enough shale coffers. Get to work. Yeah, they got to haul them downstairs before we can actually use them. It's fine. This floor is not as nice as the others. We don't really even need to farm. Like, I have a farm going, because you always have a farm, right? But we don't even need it. This is such a lush valley we find ourselves in, or I should say, um, the mire of allying. We're in, you know, a partially frozen swamp here. What was that? What's that called? A muskeg. We're in a muskeg, I guess. Just want to get this kitted out before I call it for the day. Fantastic. Shale and shale. Armor. Weapon. And the nest box shall go uh, right next to the bed, I think. Oh, no, we don't have... We don't have the marble nest boxes yet. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll have those pretty soon. How are... Do we have bees? Dead toad. We do have bees! Fantastic! All right. That's wonderful. That's wonderful news. Uh, so then, I guess... Well, we'll build a press later. It doesn't matter. That just... I hate this every time I scroll past it, but I also love it. Uh... And really, that's just Dwarf Fortress for you. Okay. That's all dealt with. So now we can remove these. Again, no interior doors. Oh, actually, we need that. We still need that one. We need doors while we designate the rooms. How's that nest box coming? Nope. Uh, you know, it's going to be a minute before those are ready. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, you know, we might we might spend a few weeks here. I don't know. I'm having trouble getting the motivation to start the alpha, um, so we might spend some time here in this ridiculous fort full of geese. Oh, interesting. Did I put the same gems in both of these? Nope, just by coincidence. Oh yeah, look at that. They're different cut. Jasper, agate, and crystal barrel. Okay, well that's fine. We can have duplicate windows. It's fine. Anyway, we'll get to the alpha eventually. I'm just having trouble working up the motivation to dig into that because I know it's going to be rough. Uh, so maybe we'll play with geese for a while. As always, folks, um, you know, if you have any thoughts on content you'd like to see, if you, if you have any thoughts about what I'm doing, feel free to comment under the video, message me directly, or uh, figure out where I live and write your thoughts in blood on my bathroom mirror. But that's going to do it for today, so as always, thanks for watching, thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel, thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel, and thanks once again to those of you watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel, because you count too, every view counts. We will be back here next week with some more Dwarf Fortress, probably some more geese, and of course there's horror content coming up on Saturday, 
although as I am recording this immediately before uploading, I do not know what that horror content is yet. There are also, I don't know, nearly 300 videos on the channel that are visible for you to check out a variety of content. Please feel free to indulge in that if you're so inclined. But I will see you folks next time, and until then, Birdman and 148 Geese out.